So microdialysis is an important um, technique used in neuroscience to sort of examine, let's say, the amount of neurotransmitter released when a drug is administered to a specific you know, area of the brain. That's one, you know, uh, use for this technique. And basically it involves, you know, stereotaxic surgery so that you got to know where you're going to be descending your cannula, which again is a tiny little tube, you know, through which a uh, drug can be administered. And we're going to see where, you know, the actual um, CSF, you know, the cerebrospinal fluid, you know, that's in these interstitial spaces, you know, between cell connections, you know, outside of cells, uh, can work its way out because you're going to be doing dialysis. You're going to be introducing a fluid down through the cannula uh, in which you can actually place the drug. Um, and then you're also going to be, you know, uh, taking the distillate, taking the, the fluid that comes out and then analyzing that for the presence, for example, of, you know, a neurotransmitter that might be released in response to the drug. Um, and an example that we have here is, you know, if you put cocaine, you know, through the tube, through the cannula, well, it promotes, you know, it blocks, we're going to see, um, you know, uh, you know, uh, monoamine uh, reuptake transporters. And you'll see an increase in, you know, the release of dopamine, the amount of dopamine in that interstitial space in the synaptic cleft. Um, and, you know, via the concentration gradient force, it'll pass through a little membrane, you know, that's put at the end of the cannula, a little membrane that allows for, you know, small molecular weight chemicals to go across will try to equalize across that membrane. If there's more dopamine being released, you know, into the cleft, well, then there's less, you know, in the, the fluid. You're not adding any dopamine in as you bring that down. So it'll cross in and then work its way back out. And you can, you can, you know, measure the amount that actually has been released. Um, and, you know, one of the things, there's a couple of, you know, drawbacks to this technique. Obviously, it's invasive. Um, it's usually a relatively small time course you can do this over. Um, and also, you know, there are issues about um, other chemicals that may be actually crossing that, you know, that thin membrane um, and then working their way out into the distillate. So you, you may be changing the neurochemical environment, you know, of that specific region. Um, and so they, they try to use what they call an artificial cerebrospinal fluid that they put in as the, as the um, you know, the, the fluid that they put in so that other aspects of you know, the chemical environment that you're introducing this fluid into, you know, are very similar across that membrane. And the only change that you'll see with, let's say, the introduction of cocaine, you know, is an increase in dopamine release. And so you'll get just the dopamine passing in and it's not really changing as much, you know, that that um, environment. Um, it's a very useful technique, though, because it could be, um, you know, utilized in, in uh, behaving, you know, organisms. So it's a it's actually a um, uh, an in vivo technique. <laughs> microdialysis.